Recently our family traveled to Canada, where I'm originally from, on a family vacation. We went to my parents' cottage, which is in Muskoka in northern Ontario, just over a two-hour drive from Toronto. We drove from the Washington DC area all the way straight to the cottage. It's a big drive, but it was a lot of fun and now that our kids are older, we took turns driving. One thing that really changed our lives was being at the cottage cut off from everything. My cell phone did not work. There was no Wi-Fi. And you're pretty limited. There's not exactly like malls and, and things to do there. It was so great. Why? Because we just had each other. It was the family. And usually, the only time the family really gathers together in our house, away from cell phones and Wi-Fi, is Shabbos, Shabbat. So this time, it was kind of like Shabbat, but we could turn on and off lights, we could drive, and we, could do, we weren't as restricted. But we did things that we normally do on Shabbat, which is we played games, and of course we were able to swim and do things that normally we don't do on Shabbat. But we played games, we talked, we read, we hung out and we chilled by, on the hammock, in the cottage. I think we turned on the television twice to watch the local news, which was pretty hilarious. But otherwise, it was just us. It was great. And it made me appreciate Shabbat even more. What would we do without Shabbat? What would we do without the opportunity to disconnect in order to connect? During the week, I'm sure you have the same experience. You're trying to talk to your spouse, or you're trying to talk to your kids, and where are their eyes? Down. Why? Because they're texting or they're emailing, or they're... It's very hard to get them to take out the plugs, to put things aside. So in cottage country, we were forced to. We had no choice. At the beginning, it's like, uh-oh, it was almost like an addict. Oh, what are we going to do? But very quickly, we realized this is great. And there was no emergency that happened that couldn't be solved later on. There was no situation that, okay, work situation or relationship situation that couldn't be pushed off for a few days. It was like an oasis. And I was so thankful that we get this every week. Shabbat, Shabbos, what would we do without it? I'm Lori, Almost Life.